Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. We're basically starting all over here in the... In the... What are you doing, Wannabe? In the golf course. Drift a thousand points. Supercharged mortar. I'm not gonna worry about the mortar. Not in any capacity. But drifting is the thing we can do. But now we're going through the Eliminator everywhere. We're going to see what comes of that. thing is, Drifting Ride Storm is the card that appears if I play as one of the cards that would already appear here otherwise. So that should make things a little bit easier on myself. Yeah, this is, now here's Drifting Ride Storm. Somehow. And now I somehow get mortar immediately. Despite you guys being able to see what ha happened when I tried to... Complete the mission here initially. Back in turbo difficulty. Trying to get just a few points from draft from drafting. Stop it, you stupid ghoul. Unfair treatment. But yeah, so I was getting a little, just getting some points just towards the goal. Okay, now I've gone literally nothing on mortar so far. You know, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. I don't even like mortar, honestly. No, I decide where we go. Take that race cam. Once I have influence over that we take. I like clash with another car. Not usually the case. I really do if some cars... I really do wonder if I missed a word there. I really do wonder if some cars are actually lighter than others. That has helped to do things. There you go. Uh, I don't think really I need to worry about power-ups right now. I'm taking jumps and slows down. This one, if I don't hit it wrong, it doesn't really hurt in any capacity. So I'm happy to hit that one. Nice time up. Otherwise, we just keep on going. Hi, tree. It's a very happy with the tree. It's a race camp. Thankfully, the backpack, so to speak, the back that's behind is quite far behind. That's a good place to... I think that's an alright place to test with someone. You want to do it on a turn, but because what it does is it prevents you really, prevents from actually turning. Much like... you'll see happen with the ice gun. You can still move, really. It's just that you can't steer. Not quite how I tend to do that, but I got something out of it. A little frightened. I have all these 16 angles right here. I want to supercharge those. And get nice and far ahead with a few boosts. I heard him supercharge something there. I do not like hearing him supercharge things. So let's get way away. So now we have some distance. Don't need to worry about getting power ups or anything. You just need to hold up the front. And prevent anybody from closing this distance. By anybody, I mean the one person remaining, which is either Season Angels or someone else on their house. I don't know if I've ever got through there before. I was taking a chance by doing that. Because if I didn't open, I would just slam into the wall. 
so it will be pretty unlikely that all three of the rockets will fail to open up. You know, usually at least the first one does in fact fail, somehow. But, no worries. It really is telling though that, whoops, sorry about that little bump. It really is telling that every single race at this point is turning into a somewhat stressful affair. And we're not even in the attic yet. So Inferno might actually turn out to be a somewhat tougher difficulty. As opposed, as opposed to just having faster cars. I wasn't sure about that coming into this difficulty. I played this race camera in a little bit. Not a long time, but it's something. Parachute. We'll see. No! Not playing as Cuplight. Not happening. And this isn't like last time where I said I wasn't going to hit somebody with a supercharged mortar and then I did. Like that's actually not happening. Alright, so race game seems to have some troubles from time to time in the first place. Let's see what we can make of that. I'm curious if somebody's going to get stuck immediately this time too, like as often happened. It actually has happened on other difficulties too, somebody getting stuck here. I know this car wouldn't have too hard a time staying ahead. It seems like its only weakness is actually its charge stat of all things. Which isn't too big a deal. Because it has, I think, the highest speed out of any car we've seen so far. That we've played out so far, at least. No more distance. And I don't think it has any real issues with its acceleration or handling or anything like that. I don't think. Although well, it does feel like it handles a little bit worse than another car, so I'm not sure. We can worry about the parachute thing if we actually get a parachute. But even then, I don't know if I really want to take any chances at any point by slowing down to that. Somebody catch up so I can actually hit them. Okay, if I bounce there, that would have been bad. But all is well. So much of this game is completely contingent upon what physics feels like doing to you at any given point. And it just becomes so much more noticeable when you're hurtling through everything at such high speeds. Yeah, like that. More mines. And more bounces that are completely outside of my control. Dude, enough for the mines. Playing one right in front of a suit is probably a good idea, though, because you cannot get a speed boost. Speed boost will not activate while you're rolling around from getting hit by something. I still don't know why explosions make you roll in this game. And it's consistent about how much you roll too. Sometimes it'll just sometimes it won't make you roll at all. Other times it'll make you roll twice. And I don't feel like it lasts a whole few seconds to affect the explosion. I don't think there's anything that affects that. I think it's just what the game's physics happens to actually to happen. Okay, how many mines do I need? This isn't really an especially exciting track for mines anywhere I don't think. engine. Not quite revving, just kind of cutting off and sometimes coming back on. So I match the gas button. Done. I'm actually surprised. And suddenly stand staying ahead of everybody without any concern. It's making it really easy to get blue rings. Now it's really easy to get blue rings in some places. And that's a really unkind. just kind of get stuck in that corner if you mess it up. Notice that I never got any pretty parachutes ever. If I get one now, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Yep, like that. It'll be an absolutely ridiculous idea to actually 
wait for somebody to catch up to me for me to hit them, for me to hit them with it. So I'm not doing that. Let me see how it's in second from over there. Don't do that game. It's a terrible game to do that. Okay. I realize there's actually water I could fall into there. Dumb little bump in the road. That at first seemed to only prevent me from hitting a ramp. Could have had much more dire consequences than that. Zoom. Oh, what? Why is the boost cancel right there? You don't really get a very good look at that water. It looks kind of nice. From above. Rampage everywhere. Okay, well, we're in one of those weird places again where we actually do have time left, but not enough for like a whole race. So, you know what that means. Rampage! Do your thing, Danny. Where we actually get to play as one of the earlier cards. There are no fans otherwise. It would be really nice to play as Gearhead again, but it's just not going to happen with those stats. No! Game! I just. The thing is, I can play as Midrift. It's totally reasonable to do so. It's also really annoying in post editing, having to. Having to have all these little bits in the menu, one after another, where I change the music. Because I'm navigating menus a bunch of them. Stupid game. The entire reason I'm excited for this is I get to play as a certain car, and then they tell me to play as somebody else. In the final tournament. Well, yeah. In the same way that you get cards for completing any tournament. It's kind of weird. On the other hand, you get an even better car if you get all the flames on a given difficulty, as the game tells you. Anyways. You need points. That's all you need to worry about. Random unnamed car just running around. Oh, drift. Draft, please. Is that enough? Yep. Okay. What? Come on. Thank you, Yeti. Okay. Thank you, Bird. Such a slow car. It's really weird driving such a slow car after playing as cars that are in Inferno difficulty cars. So slow now. The thing is, everybody else is going so slow that it makes no difference. What just gave me a speed boost? And another one. And the ring line went through did it did not do this to boost game. Why do you do these things? Who am I drafting? There's no way to be drafted at this point. Might as well. No! That's not what you're supposed to aim for. There you go. That was a little weird. It didn't even... Oh, good job. You gonna move? No? Good job, Ed Drift. Job's done. Game's over. <laughs> no more driving anywhere. Oh, there you go. Just kind of reset somehow. But notice that it homed in on that shortcut and then did not open it. Whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels. Beat that where we do more. Or elimination. Bye, everyone.